Defense und von da aus wird sie And here we go, we get started here in our junior men's lightweight division, the semi-finals of the IMF 2022 World Championships. Germany in the blue corner with Altin taking on Mikhail Borowski from Poland in the red. Mikhail has had some impressive boxing in this competition so far, landing that right hand very effectively and likes to switch stance. Altin, good everywhere, well-rounded individual and has put on some very impressive performances. This could easily be our final. Oh, nice hooks landed. And duck under from Mikhail. Accurate with his boxing. Nice quiet, low calf kick to switch it up as well. Building in confidence, Mikhail. We nice right hand landed. And your results on cage number two. The winner by Rhea Nakin. Nice kick combination from Martin trying to keep the distance. Good idea from the style of boxing distance with Mikhail. Obviously, obviously frustrated from that. He looks to get the takedown, shoots in the double, switching now maybe to a single leg, head outside. Head's a bit low, that lifts it. Gonna switch. Nice idea. Good awareness though. From Germany. Trying to connect the hands. Good defense here from Altin. And now on cage number two, making their way to the blue Switches corner. back to that single. Representing Brazil, Costan Oliveira. And in the red corner, representing Austria. Nice head position, few rabbit punches. Racking up the points is Borowski. Alton needs to show some urgency and get off this fence. Heard the, the 10 second clack and then started to work and got off the fence. Should have been doing that, you know, instantly once he got put there. A lot of time wasted there on the fence, in my opinion. Good work from both these guys in round one. Extremely talented and matched well. And our second round gets underway. Poland versus Germany. Nice left hook, low kick, stumbles though, does Borowski. Mikhail Borowski in the red corner, representing Poland, taking on Altin Zanuni. In the blue corner, representing Germany. It's a junior men's lightweight division, 70.3 kilos. Our semi-finals here, 
Great knees from Borowski. To me, two of the, the more talented guys in this division. Interesting semi final. And then Borowski gets his boxing going. It's uh, beautiful to watch. Very accurate, lands very well. And the same for Altin with his kicks when he starts kicking from the outside distance. Can be very effective. No one really showing dominance so far in the second round as we move to the midway point. Nice deep duck under the hook there. Lean back lands, good shots. Nice one, two, double leg. Very, very, very clean entry that. Good defense now, Tim, but that wasn't enough. Kiel manages to get to the ground. Reactive wrestling though from Alton. And in the red corner, representing Ukraine, Andre Mischi. Trying to duck under. Great forward pressure here from Alton, controlling the fight a bit more, all gets reversed. Showed he had the capability to get off the fence. Just needs to be urgent about it here as we have only 35 seconds remaining. Needs to be urgent and, it, it, and see every time he tries to get up the fence, he does, but he needs the prompt. 10 second cracker, that time it was the 30 seconds uh, call from his, his corner. He needs to not allow himself to be in that position for too long, especially with Morowski's box. Nice end to the second round from Borowski. Very close this one. Nice landed shots there from Mikael. So accurate with his boxing. He moves his head so well. Gets, just gets outside the punch. Nice entry attempt from Altin, but I was going to say that earlier. Both trying to get takedowns and both getting stuffed and, and really having to hustle hard to get the takedowns. And then there's a reversal and then one of them manages to get up. So nothing definitive in the, in the grappling department from either of these two men. And the entry cage one in the blue corner representing Uzbekistan, Manes Mavidjanov. And his opponent in the red corner representing the first minute Kazakhstan, finished here Dushan, in our last Dushan, round in the semi finals. Again, Altin up back against the fence and needs to show urgency to escape this fence. Every time he tries to escape, he gets out. He just needs a prompt to try and escape. Good, genau, yeah, so hast du gut hochgeholt. Sehr schön. 
Great balance though, in on this single. Good head position, controlling the posture. Now you can hear the German corner asking for him to get off. Now he's pushing down on that head, controlling the posture very well and exits and re-enters. Great work from Altin. Grabs the legs. Ah, super from the uh, German corner. They're enjoying the work of Altin. Effectively tries to get this to the mat. One minute left as Mikhail makes it back to his feet again. Managed to get the takedown, but they go tip for tack, get takedown, get back up. Nothing really definitive in, in, in this to score for the judges. Very, very close fight this as we find Borowski now in deep on his double leg. Good head position. And again, good control. And again, Altin not doing anything. Comfortable there. But then when he hears the 10 second clack, look at, look at the, the movement and the attempt. Got, received a good knee there, though. And our fight comes to an end. I really have no idea how this one's been scored. Uh, I'd say it's 50 50. It could go either way. Both men have been great in this tournament so far. Borowski takes the victory, probably the uh, pressure up against the cage, had a bit more control throughout the fight, did great, really excited to see him in the finals, good work for Poland.